Here is a quick tutorial on how to create a climate graph using Microsoft Excel. This is uh, the 2016 Mac version and I'm sure you could modify it slightly to figure out how to create one of these in any other version you'd like. This is the end product here for Spokane, Washington. And the first thing you want to do is set up your table. A quick shortcut not a lot of folks are familiar with is if you just start this with the months you can highlight them and drag it down to December. Go ahead and paste my values in. Uh, I prefer to have format in these columns with uh, zero decimal places here under the number category. And for the average precipitation, since, since it is in inches, Seems kind of silly to go more than one decimal, but you could choose whichever you'd like, of course, as long as they're standard and all looking the same. I'm going to stick with one decimal place, so tenths of inches. Once you have that, we can highlight the data. Go to Insert, and we'll start here with the lines. Let's pick the first option. All right. And what we'll do is when we click on one of these, it should highlight off to the left our column. So this is our temperature column. This is our temperature data. And this is for average precipitation. We want the precipitation to not be a line, but to be columns. So if we go back to change chart type, we'll pick the basic column. All right. The other thing that um, a lot of that makes creating a climate graph very tricky is that once we have them highlighted, if we right click, format the data series. This is the biggest trick. And we want to create that a, as a secondary axis. Now we have the precipitation values on the right side of the uh, chart and the temperature values over on the left side. We made the precipitation our secondary axis. And if we click on temperature, we'll see that it is the primary. Uh, I would prefer to have the line of temperature in the color of red. And the precipitation bars with a solid fill. Make them blue. If it doesn't automatically do that. I think that looks better. We can delete these series off the bottom as well as these background lines once you have them highlighted. You can delete those, makes it a little more crisp. All right, at this point you have your climate graph, it's just a matter of making it look uh, a little bit sharper. Uh, for instance, if you prefer to have the temperature overlapping with your precipitation bars, which in, for this particular city, uh, that kind of bothers me because it looks like there's lots of rain, when in fact, if you look at the numbers, uh, this is actually a drier location so what we could do is if you highlight the values, right click, format the axis, we can uh, change the min and maximum values. I want both of these y axes to start at zero, but the, temp the uh, precipitation doesn't need to stop at 2.5. We can make that as high if we just see how it changes It's 5. Notice that it went down and there's still a little bit of overlap, so if I change that to 8, now we're going from zero inches of monthly precipitation to eight. And the fact that it taps out at around 2.5 inches means that these bars are sure to be lower than my temperature line, whose values range from zero to 80. And if you don't like that, you could also manipulate these just as easily by formatting the axis. And if you wanted to have a number like 100 in there for whatever reason, because you like that number, <laughs> Okay, then it squishes it a little bit. I kind of prefer the way it was. So leave it like such. Uh, and the last thing to do is to add some titles. So this, the main title is pretty easy to edit. But uh, you might run into trouble trying to uh, label the axes. So the way to do that is to go up here to add chart element. 
And if you ever get lost, it might be because the thing switched back to home or insert or somewhere else. So if we just re-click on our climograph, it should take you back. And if it doesn't, you can click on chart design, add chart element, access titles. Uh, so the primary vertical is going to be temperature and degrees. Fahrenheit, a quick shortcut is using option zero to create that degree sign. We can add the axis for the secondary. The precip in inches. And there you have it.